Well, um, everything's changed at, uh, at Oxford Terrace Baptist Church because our building has failed and, and now we have a, a blank section where there used to be a, a, an 1881 um, church building. Um, we're rediscovering what it means to be church, uh, which is probably a good thing for us. Uh, we're reconnecting with our local community a little bit more than we were. Um, we're learning how to be patient as, um, as we unravel what the, uh, the new normal is like for us in Central Christchurch. And uh, I'm, I'm representing some of the Presbyterians. We're, we've lost um, four buildings uh, which have gone and only one of those is going to be replaced. Others are going to, have, are going to look at uh, combining with other churches. Uh, we, we've got other buildings uh, that actually have some very significant work to be done and uh, could require some quite significant remodelling. Uh, we, we're uh, discovering some things too. Uh, some of the people meeting in halls uh, are giving some fairly consistent feedback that actually meeting in a hall uh, isn't such a bad thing, that uh, a more confined space is generating a sense of community which uh, is actually quite exciting. We're getting to know one another a little bit better. Uh, and uh, I know in my own church one of the things that's happening is that we're engaging with the, with the community more as more community groups come in and uh, use the facility. So there are some positives emerging from the, uh, from the rubble. I think the challenges we face are uh, uh, getting our heads around um, that we're not going back to what we had, uh, being careful that we engage um, in terms of being mission um, hearted with, with our communities um, and uh, expressing hope especially as we go through the waiting time um, that we're part of a big story and, and that big story is, is a story that is laden with, with hope, the story of the gospel and so as we proceed um, expressing that hope, not being idolatrous about uh, the bricks and mortar but um, building it in such a way that um, it's, 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 a, it's a blessing to, um, to, to everybody. One of the biggest challenges is that actually we don't just rebuild what we had as quickly as possible and get back to where we were. Uh, that's been a real temptation for people. We need to, we really need to spend some time um, thinking, talking together, listening for, for God to speak to us uh, and uh, to actually let a new vision emerge of what it is to be well, a church and what sort of church buildings we, we might be able to build from from the from the ashes of defeat. I, I can see um, three or four key differences. I think some very obvious ones are uh, um, <laughs> we're actually not going to have many stone churches. Uh, they're, they're going to look different from the outside. Uh, I think I hope they're going to actually look more uh, of a more human scale. Uh, I think inside there's going to be uh, different seating arrangements as people uh, sit not in rows but actually uh, in more gathered seats so there is uh, buildings that reinforce the community. We are going to actually ask ourselves a little bit more uh, what is it that is unique about our, our Christian uh, faith and our worship together? What is it that actually creates a sense of reverence for God in our midst? Uh, because I actually think that sense of mystery and, and reverence is going to be a very important feature of, of new church buildings. And amongst that, there is a contrasting um, uh, theme of uh, uh, multi-use buildings and, and using them more. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see how those two play out against one another. Oh, I think at Oxford Terrace will be different uh, in terms of uh, being a bit more multi-purpose, uh, a bit more accessible, probably there'll be more glass uh, in the sense that we've got nothing to hide and we want to see um, in and out of, of the structure. Uh, it'll probably be greener in terms of uh, paying uh, more attention to the way we, uh, we relate to the planet and the way we steward. Uh, and um, it's, um, it'll probably be a long way off.